The immortal pen of James Fenimore Cooper brings you thrilling tales of excitement. Blazing action on the early American frontier. Stirring adventures filled with the daring and courage of Hawkeye, first of the long rifles, and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans. Ease off your packs or I'll blast you both with my long rifle. Reckon we ought to lift their scalps as well as their furs, Mohican? Not want Seneca scalps, my white brother. Turn around. I said turn around. Now get. And don't even look back. The last thing in the world you'll hear is the back of the long rifle. evil spirit running gauntlet. If those settlers' eyes were powder and ball, we'd be plumb full of holes by now. What's going on around here, Mr. Travis? You and the other settlers around here act like we got the plague. Be better than having a price on your heads. The only price we're interested in is getting top shilling for our furs. I'm not buying any stolen goods. Well, that's a new one. Usually wait till you hear how much we want before you start hollering thief. Yeah, maybe we better go see Hollister over at Chenango. The only place you're going is to jail. First time I hear this against law to sell furs. It is, when you've been stealing them from the Senecas. No one's ever accused us of stealing anything before, Mr. Travis. The first time I heard it, I just didn't believe it. Why did you do it, Hawkeye? Didn't you know you and Chingachgook could be recognized, even with masks on? What Senecas say we steal furs? Tell me, I make him speak with straight tongue. You're fortunate you fell into my hands, and not the Senecas. They'd have put you to the stake. All right, come on, hand over your weapons. I've turned you over to the sheriff. Yeah, I guess you've got us dead to rights, Mr. Travis. We might as well own up and make a clean breast of it. Save you settlers the trouble of a trial. Huh? You want to confess first, or shall I? Maybe best we talk together. Well, that might be a little confusing. What do you think, Mr. Travis? Uh, what I've heard so far is enough for me. If you have anything more to say, jail is the place where you'll be saying it. Yeah, I calculate you're right. You better give me your gun, Chingachgook. Let's go. Hawkeye, furs! Come on. We leave first. Run. Now all settlers sure we steal from Senecas. Well, they'd be just as sure if we let Travis lock us behind bars. That'd kind of hamper us from finding out how come everyone's so certain we've turned highwaymen. But there are many braves big like me. <laughs> Wear mask, change feathers, look like Mohican. Yeah, you're reading my mind, Chingachgook. Wouldn't take much of a change of buckskins for somebody to look like me either. But why Senecas tell such big lie? That's a good question. I got a feeling that Chief Wandara might have the answer. The only trouble is whether he'll tell us before or after he ties us to a stake. Well, let's head that way and see what we can find out. Many 
moon's trapped for. Stark, they here. Hanuki C. You Senecas, always having visions. What is it this time? The evil spirit in the mountains? No spirits. Hawkeye, Chingachgook, they come to trading post. They must have been surprised at the kind of welcome they got. Who got the reward for them? No reward. They get away. Maybe it's better that way. If they was putting a lock up, you and me would have to shut up shop until we could figure out who else we could dress up like. Hawkeye, okay, Chingachgook, they plenty trouble. They swift like fox, smart like cougar. They follow track, even Seneca no find. Look, Anoki, when a man finds out the law's after him, he hightails it fast and far. They must be out of that territory by now. Anoki follow. They take trail to our village. Either they're plain crazy. Or else they're mighty sure that Chief Wandaro will believe whatever they tell him. Only wind singing trees. Yeah, it sounds like a dirge. We better keep our eyes peeled. That nervous trigger finger of yours gave my way. All right, let's get the four your chattering teeth. Tell them where we're hiding. Circle around and come at him from the side. Well, it appears like our birds have flown. Seneca moccasin tracks. Yeah, two braves. One brave. Other tracks. Toes point out. Yeah, you're right, Ching. It's most white men walk with their toes out. You know, this could be the pair that's given us our new reputation. Tracks go this way. Chief, you can shoot me with my own rifle if I'm not speaking with a straight tongue. Chingachgook and me never robbed any of your braves. The heart of Wandara knows that Hawkeye never speaks with tongue of serpent. Hawkeye is friend. Friendship covers our chief's eyes with clouds of darkness. The snake crawls into our teepees, yet our chief does not step on it. White men seek these two for stealing, yet Wandara greets them like brothers. There's a snake a-crawling around in these teepees, all right. A bushwhacking snake whose trail led me and Chingachgook right to this village. Best way for a guilty man to cover himself is to plant a false trail. Those who were robbed don't know the guilty men when they see them. Anoki! This the white man, a Mohican, that took your furs? Don't be afeard. They're not wearing masks now, and they're not holding their rifles on you either. That should satisfy even you, Wandera. Just a minute. What makes you so sure? Change his buckskins, put a mask on him. Are you sure you could tell the difference? Put on mask, change feathers. Seneca Brave looked like Mohican. These evil ones are throwing dust in your eyes. They're guilty and they know it. For many moons, Hawkeye and Chingachgook have been friends of Seneca's. The heart of Wandera tells him they do not steal from friends. Maybe the heart of Wandera grows soft and speaks with false tongue. Do not speak so to Chief of Seneca. I mean no disrespect to your father, but I got as much right to my say as you have, niggas. My father may have been white, but my mother came from this village, the daughter of an honored war chief. Then honor her blood. Respect your chief. I honor the Seneca blood in me by demanding that Hawkeye and Chingachgook be punished. 
And my respect for your wisdom will grow when I see it done. No listen to tongue which drip bitter poison. Before Stark come to village, Hawkeye friend of Seneca. When Negus papoose, Hawkeye there. When Negus make first bow, Hawkeye bring arrow. Many time Hawkeye helped Seneca people when trouble. Now he's helping himself to your first. You speak more, maybe cutthroat. Not mine, theirs. A brave of less than half my years is closing your ears against my judgment. Chief, your two friends here must have known when they came that you and your son had protect them even though they're guilty. Show your wisdom. Turn them over to white man's law. My father, word of Hawkeye always straight like arrow. He say he no steal, negus believe. How say you, Hawkeye? If we were guilty, Chief, we'd be touched worse than a couple of loons to come parading into this village. Hawkeye and me come with clean hands to make counsel find out who say we steal first. More than a dozen of our braves described you, and all of them know what a Mohican looks like, even if he is masked. A chameleon not only hides his head, but he changes colors all over. Old friend, all Chingachgook and me want is an opportunity of getting at the truth and proving that your heart's not being false to you about us. Well, Dara, if you don't turn these men over to the sheriff, you might find yourself in trouble with the white man's law. One Dara is chief here. One Dara wants justice, not vengeance. If in ten sons you do not have proof, one Dara's heart turns from you. No. Tracks of fur robbers harder to follow than Sparrow. Maybe we are in wrong place. This looks like the place where they robbed the Senecas. With their tracks covered, they're going to be mighty tough to run down. The forest is many miles wide. Take many suns to hunt down all trails. Hey, you're right, Chingachgook. Unless the hunted can be scared into being the hunters. Anoki not do. We can't afford to leave those two running loose in the woods, not even for 10 days. All I want you to do is take Negus on a pleasant little hunting trip. Leave the rest of the details to me. Anoki grow up with Negus. We become warrior together. That more important to you than your share of these? Maybe, maybe Negus not want go hunting. If you know what's good for you, you'll make sure he does. Wandara never believe Hawkeye Chingachgook do this evil thing. He'll believe anything I tell him when he's chanting a dirge at the funeral of his only son. I, Wandera, chief of all the Senecas, do bid farewell to Negus, my only son. Take him by the hand, O Manitou, and guide his spirit to the happy hunting ground. And so that his spirit may rest in peace, help Wandera find his murderer, and judge him with wisdom. Manitou's heeded your prayer, Chief. Our braves have captured two murdering dogs to lay at Negus' feet. Stark, if you're accusing us of killing Negus, you'd better be ready to back up your lion with your life. Big talk from a couple of killers we got dead to rights. Wandara, I don't know what Stark's told you, but whatever it is, it's his word against mine. Not only my word. He was a mite careless on the hold-up trail this time, overlooking an eyewitness. Right, Anoki? Best witness to murder is one who pulls trigger himself. No, no, me not shoot. 
Hawkeye and Chingachgook, they shoot. Stark's lying and you're backing him up. Nagus and Oki go out hunt beaver. An Oki cross to the other side of lake. Here shot, look. Nagus dead. Why are you? Stop. You little Blood brother and Mohican. Speak with straight tongue. Don't listen to him, Wandara. He's only trying to save himself and Hawkeye. Your son is lying up there with a rifle ball in his back because you listened to these two before. I'd just as soon put a shot in my blood brother Chingachgook as I would, Nagus. Pretty words, but they ain't gonna save your neck. Or that murder in Mohicans. He's mine, Chingachgook. You're just about my size, Stark. You're always blowing a fair big horn about what a great shot you are. Chief, put us together under the eyes of Manitou and find out who bushwhacked your son. So be it. No food, no drink for three sons. And this knife shall burn a curse in the face of he who fails the trial of Manitou. How do you feel, my brother? Fine. Stand like dog by grave of master. Anoki laugh. Sound like yap of yellow cur dog with tail between legs. Mohican see, oh yellow dog, when test of Manitou begin. Anoki is like vulture. Should have been here an hour ago. What kept you? Not easy bring food, drink. Must wait till all rest in teepee. Uh, Mohican not smart like an oki. Just stand outside other teepee like dog. Do nothing while Hawkeye grow weak. <sighs> that woodsman's gonna be mighty surprised when he sees how strong Manitou's kept me. Manitou, great spirit, hear Wandera, chief of all the Senecas. Oh, mighty Manitou, stretch forth your hand and give your strength to the one that is true. He who falls and first touches fire fails the first test. It'll take more than Manitou to keep your britches from scorching, woodsman. Begin the trial of Manitou with the voice of the drum. and touched fire. He fails the first test. It is the will of Manitou. I'd have had him burning if this hadn't broke. Anyway, it ought to prove who's the liar. Only one test has been taken. The trial of Manitou calls for three. He who loses two, loses all. <laughs>
Stark's been getting food and water. How you know, my brother? Well, look at me, Chance. My mouth is cracked. There isn't enough moisture in me to raise a bead of sweat. He's sweating. He's strong as an ox. It's not fair. Me tell Chief Wandara. No. Take more than a little sweat in a man's brow to convince Wandara. We'd have to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that he's been watered and fed. Only one who could help Stark is Anoki. Maybe me loosen tongue before last trial. I hope so. The way I'm feeling, I'll have trouble seeing the sights of my rifle, let alone the target. One more test will bring swift justice to the killer of Negus. Kill Negus. Maybe you live. Such good shot as my brother Hawkeye. You talk or die. Shoot! No, not shoot. Not on time. We not shoot. He shoot. Stark. He shoot Negus. He take first. Shut your mouth, you clever and squaw. <laughs> Now, if you don't mind, I think I'll stick my head in a bucket of water. And I fix you plenty of venison. Yeah. Hawkeye, my heart turned against you. But Manitou teach me that Hawkeye always speaks straight, like Arrow. My brother Hawkeye always speaks straight like Arrow. Well, he can take Hawkeye, my friend, friend of my son, Negus, friend of all the Senecas, to my teepee. Join us again at this same time next week for another of James Fenimore Cooper's gripping tales of the early American frontier. Another exciting adventure of Hawkeye and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans. <laughs> <laughs>